What's going on, YouTube world? This is your guy, Sills, the man. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for supporting me as always. And I'm back with a late night edition episode. I know y'all love this. So I'm, I'm glad to do this again. All right. On tonight's episode, we're going to talk about the best Sills, the man approved five ways to show your worthy man love without saying a single word. Like these ways don't have to involve words because me, honestly, I'm tired of people trying to show their love through words. That doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to y'all either because I know y'all if because y'all rock with me. So we, we share the same mindsets, right? So we're not about words. What we are about our actions. I heard some of y'all say it before I even said it. If you love me, show me you love me. I don't need you to tell me you love me, right? It is 2022. We don't got time for words. Back up your words with your actions, all right? Because words alone ain't enough. So before we get into it, please subscribe. If you like my energy, if you like what I talk about, if you rock with me, hit that subscribe button below this video box. And I want y'all to talk about this these things that I'm about to say in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And if this helps, and if this has helped you, I wanna hear it all, all right? Sills the man across all social media platforms. Thank you for the support and engagement. Let's get into it. The first best way, Sills the proof way, to show your man love without saying words even, is to number one, feed his excitement. Invest in the things that makes him happy, excited, giddy, especially the things he always talks about or invests his time in. Now, this is a good one because a lot of y'all don't like what we do. I might be an anime nerd and most of y'all don't like anime. I understand. I like sports. A lot of y'all probably don't like sports. I like race cars and, and tools and fixing things and a lot of y'all just not interested in it. But guess what? This is not about you right now. <laughs> This is about how you can show your love to your guy. So the best way to do that, number one, is to invest what makes him happy. Because it's not just about a happy wife makes a happy home, but you wanna make sure your husband or your, or your man is happy as well, right? This is a two-way street. So the best way to surprise him, one of the best ways, is to feed his likes, feed his hobbies, feed the things he desires. Even those geeky things that you don't understand or, or, or even like, these are the things that makes him happy and you are the reason for his happiness. So how about you feed his happiness? Happiness overload, that's what you want. So if he likes a specific sports team, how about you get him some tickets? And with think with Seals the Man, I never pay anything full price. I will always try to find a deal. I will Google sports tickets deals, cheap sports tickets. Whatever route you take, there is a way to do it without breaking the bank, promise you. I should make a video on that because I am a deal hacker, but that's another video. If he likes fixing things, get him a toolbox set. And advice from your guy Sills the Man is to wait till the holidays when they are on sale, heavily discounted. Also check out the discount stores. There's always a way. If he's an anime nerd or he likes, you know, uh, weird cartoons and stuff, take him to Comic-Con. Comic-Con is a convention of, of people who likes uh, dressing up as comic people and, and anime people, and, and it's just a communion of all those people. It's pretty cool, look it up. But I know that because I know those things. So the thing you can do is, if you know he likes something that you have no interest in or maybe don't have any uh, uh, information on or know anything about, what you can do is do your research. Do your due diligence. Google is your best friend right now. Then everything else will pop up. Then you'll see things that those people like to buy or purchase or go to or be a part of or participate in. So the number one thing is figure out what he likes. Well, you should know what he likes by now, but feed it, give it to him in grand style. Take him to those places or give him those things. All right, so the number two best sales approved way to show your love without necessarily you using words or saying I love you is to have no reason for your compliments. Gas him up, be his biggest hype man. If he's working on something or working on a project, gas him up. If he got a new tie for work or, or, or an event y'all going to, gas him 
up. If he's working out, trying to lose weight or use or lose that that COVID stomach that he gained, if, if he wants to look better for you, gas him, hype him up. Wow, you looking good. You working so hard, I see it. And I'm not telling you to lie, be real. But make sure he's getting it from you and not other people, right? And that's another thing. When people start to get uh, things that they should be get from home from other people, that creates separation. You want to be his source of happiness. You want to be his source of compliments. He should not have to go somewhere else outside of his home to get that, right? Men want that. We want our shorty, our woman to let us know, to be our hype man, to gas us up, to make us feel good. Because only your opinion matters, so bring it on. And also, when you hype your man up, when you hype your good man up, guess what? He's going to do that for you. And if he's already doing it, he's going to want to do it more. He's going to want to take it to the next level. But it, 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 being mutual is great, man. Feeling effort and giving effort, receiving effort and, and giving it back. That's great. That's mutual. That feels amazing. When you're the one that's just putting out and not receiving, that feels horrible, right? So that makes him want to gas you up too when you do it for him. Y'all want to relate. Y'all a team. Act like it. All right, so number three, the best sales approved way to show your man love without actually saying it or using words is to break the norm. Be appropriately spontaneous. And notice I said appropriately, right? Because being spontaneous can be kind of random. It can be kind of wild if you don't know what you're doing. Know your man and be spontaneous in that it tailors him. Don't be spontaneous that it scares him away, right? Don't be spontaneous and buy a snake for a man that doesn't like snakes, right? So there's a difference between being spontaneous and just absolutely crazy. All right, so let's go back to the original topic. Be spontaneous, appropriately spontaneous and out the norm. Life can be very challenging and time consuming. He works, you work long hours. Y'all probably don't see each other for most of the day. And this lifestyle, this, 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 this uh, process of doing the same things over and over again, Monday through Friday, it can easily put you two in a trance. It can put you two in following a schedule and, and sticking to it, that it can take away from what's really important. Yes, jobs are important, but that should not overtake the importance of your relationship with your man and vice versa, of course. Don't let the things that's, that's making you get into these trends of sticking to schedules every single day and every single week, getting in, in, in between you two, your fun, your love, enjoying each other, all right? The fun thing about this point is that it, you can break this, this schedule, this trends of y'all just doing the same thing break this take a break do something spontaneous get outside of the norm do something funny even the little things counts they matter they could be around the house it could be something that brings excitement or or, or or laughs like a prank once again you can't prank everybody so make sure your man likes pranks before you do that you know what i mean everybody can't take that but you know what i'm saying do something do something that changes the pace of your every day and every week schedule. It's awesome. Leave post-it notes on a mirror of, of words of affirmation or something, just something to encourage him. Buy something uh, unique or, or different for Friday nights, for Friday night dinners. Go somewhere, travel, go hiking at your nearest trail on week weekends. You know what I'm saying? Switch it up. Because one thing you don't wanna do is get bored of each other. And doing the same thing every day and every week can start argument. It can create lack of passion. You know what I'm saying? Have fun. The fourth thing you can do to show love to your man, your deserving man, without saying words or saying I love you, is to invest in his dreams, invest in his passions, invest in his projects. If you know he likes finances, purchase a financial course or buy him stocks. Surprise him. If he wants to go back to school one day, Help him look for scholarships, grants, because it's not all about exactly what you do. It's the effort that matters more than anything to make him feel like, yo, he's not alone. I got you too. I'm here to help you. We're here to do this together. And for him to see your passion in his dreams will make an amazing impression on him, especially since you know he's trying to be productive. He's trying to make something out of himself. When he got you in his corner to help him with that, Oh my goodness, man. It doesn't get any better than that because you really can't say you want him 
and only want specific parts of him, right? You can't say you want him, but you don't support his dreams or his aspirations. When he feels wholly wanted by you, it doesn't get any realer than that. So invest in his passions, invest in his dreams, make initiation, make effort to help with those things. That is great. And the fifth thing, the fifth best way, sales approved way to show your man deserving man love without necessarily using words or saying it is to figure out his love language and get creative. This is a good one. I actually just found out about love languages uh, a few years ago. I'm not really big into those you know, things, astrology and all that stuff, but love languages are really cool because most of the time they're pretty accurate. My top love language is gifting, right? My least love language is touch. And it makes sense because I really don't like a lot of people touch me, but I love to give. I love to be generous. I love to give charity, right? So it just makes sense. So this is something I want you to do. I want you to find out his love language. Don't be too weird with it because a lot of guys, a lot of us guys, we're logical. and We're just like, what is this? What is this you, you this test you're giving me? You know what I'm saying? Just be cool with it. Make it make sense. But once you figure out his love language and you think it's accurate, feed on that. Pound on that. And make sure that your love language is using this too. Use it as an advantage. This is something that will open and broaden his, his scope and his horizon. Because it's kind of like a cheat code. Once you figure out your man holy, you know what he likes and what he really, really likes pound on that but get creative use your style use your opinion use your perspective and use your knowledge of him to make the best of it it gets fun man you gotta have fun with this because a lot of mistakes that i see are people who are taking love uh a little too seriously a little too straightforwardness right love is meant to be enjoyed with each other it's not meant to be a hammer struck constantly you need to enjoy loving someone you need to enjoy receiving love from someone you're supposed to have fun with this all right because it's enjoyable when it's real love so the fifth one figure out his love language figure out your love language too make it compatible and get creative with it have fun all right so i hope y'all enjoyed my five sales approved best ways to show your man love without necessarily using words and saying it because once again he doesn't want to hear i love you he wants to hear it and let it be backed up by actions. But these actions, these these five things aren't really shown a lot to us. So try it out. Let me know how it goes in the comments below. I definitely wanna see it, hear from it. Because I had a similar video like this, right? My very first video on YouTube and it went crazy. I did not expect it. Because I thought, you know, people showed love and expressed love in the ways I said, right? But I found out that that was not the case. There were a lot of people who were just saying, I love you and not backing it up with action. And the things I brought up, they were, you know, astonished that it worked with their guys. And I was really happy to see that, you know what I'm saying? So if you haven't checked out the video, check it out. It's really bad, don't worry. It, the audio was crazy, I was zoomed out. It was my first, very first YouTube video. So forgive me, I'm asking you, but check that out. But I hope y'all enjoy my video, try them out, let me know how it goes, and I will see y'all at the next video. Peace and blessings. Good night.